Hello everyone, this is JJ Reviews, just doing a quick review on the iPod Touch 4th Gen in 2019. This iPod Touch, this is the 8GB one, 8GB storage. The iPod Touch 4th Gen came out in September in 2010, so 9 years later. I still have mine in still good condition, it's got odds wear and tear on it as you can see, quite scratched up, but apart from that, the iPod works very well, it's running, so if you do software update, let's check in now, when it does. Anyway, I'll go back and I'll show you on there. So, capacity it says 6.4, but I've got quite a lot of songs, 367. It's probably not a lot compared to everyone else. The model number. But yeah, software version 6.1.6. .6. But it, it, it works all smooth, everything. You've got the Nike Plus iPod with the workout that was built in to this. You have as well. General. Yeah, the, how it works, it works, it still works very well, so you're not as quick as compared to now for phones with like the iPhone XR. But it's still, as when doing all that, it still runs well. The only problem I've ever had with this is the odd YouTube bug. Still, It still loads like YouTube up and everything. But it does take its time loading. As you can see here, it does take a while to load YouTube and that bit of lag and then when coming out of it. But all in all, the Apple Touch 4th Gen still is a good phone. It's uh, not a phone, my bad. Still works well. Got the camera, obviously it's not going to be great photos. With video it's 30 frames on this. Takes 2 hours to charge. As you can see, you've got the speaker, the headphone jack and the charging port. How it used to be. Volume up and volume down. The lock button as well as the power button. I don't think this has a built-in microphone. So you have to connect up any headphones. Headphones or earphones that have a built-in microphone to be able to do FaceTime on this. Battery, it lasts, it lasts alright, it doesn't last too long, you probably get about a couple of hours because the amount of times it's been charged over the years, but it does, it does, despite it charging about, it takes back a couple of hours, but it does charge quick, if you want to charge it quick, it dies quick, but you can charge it quick. I don't know if it's because of how the battery's gone now, but it still charges fast. But for me personally, I only use this just to watch videos on YouTube, um, or if I've imported videos from my PC with the YouTube app, the built-in one, or converting music 
from YouTube onto my iPod. It's just all music. When it loads quickly, and it's just all the songs. Quite a few songs. Still sounds. It still sounds alright for me. And I'll tell you, yeah, in 2019, this is still a good, still a good iPod. If you want a second-hand one, I would definitely recommend this. I don't know how much they go for now. You probably pick them up cheap, about what thirty pound. If you get them off, um, off eBay, as you see, it's in the black. You can get it in black or white. It still works well, if I'm honest. Still very good if you're just out and about. Still has that front facing camera as well. But you can still do all your obviously messaging people through iMessage and maps. But as me as well. I use this for an alarm half the time. You can do that little scroll down, check notifications. Obviously, this is running on 6.1.6. But, yeah, this is a good iPod still nowadays. I wouldn't say this is a terrible one. Still works very well for me, despite all the scratches and everything. But, yeah, for me, still a very good iPod. Still a very good iPod. So I would definitely say for people that want a cheap... I, I would say maybe it's an MP3 as such, yeah. You know, you can still do FaceTime. It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth... And I'd still say it's a good one. So if you're looking for a cheap iPod Touch, this is still very good. Not as fast, not as fast as you'll see if you've got an iPhone or an Android phone. You'll be able to obviously tell a difference for speed. But if you're only using this for music or videos, this is still a good device to use out and about, it's not expensive, just a reminder though, this is the 8 gigabyte iPod, so if you can still get it in a 16 gig, I, I'm i sure they as well did it in a 32 gigabyte, but it's still good day to day, just listen to music if you're out, travelling to work, on the underground, trains, or buses, this is still it lasts up to music playback from a full charge up to seven hours. And from video playback, it's five hours. But I think now, with how the battery has this dropped probably quite a lot. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like. And a subscribe, and I'll be doing more reviews in 2019 with all the devices. See how they are up to date now compared to other smartphones. See how they're running and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.